It looks so simple, but this tiny pill on a string is a potential lifesaver. And it's coming, yeah. coming, 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 Ooh. coming, coming, and we Lovely. have it out. Well done. Tony Richards survived his cancer. Now he's volunteered to test the cytosponge. It's a new device to spot the early signs of esophageal cancer when it can still be cured. You get the feeling that your esophagus is, is being cleaned with a little bit of a brush, but a, a gentle brush. I just want to make sure that uh, other people can have the chance to be diagnosed early because that way we will get the recovery rate from esophageal cancer right down. The idea behind this clever little invention is quite simple. You've basically got a sponge inside a capsule and that is fed into the patient's stomach. Over the course of about five minutes, this happens. Once the capsule dissolves, you can pull the sponge back out up the patient's food pipe where it gathers around a million cells. You can then test for signs of cancer. You can see some of those cells here. They're the white bits gently floating around. Samples are taken to a Cambridge lab to be shaken up, poured out, and then delicately put onto wafer-thin layers of wax until they're ready to be checked under the microscope. Richard, we're looking for a strip of cells that you can see here, with, which have rounded dark circles. Uh, they can Sometimes the circles are clear, and these are indicative of the precancerous condition, Barrett's esophagus. Maria's part of the team who've spent 10 years developing both the sponge to gather the cells and the special way of marking out the ones that might turn bad. So this test could be the difference between getting cancer and not getting cancer. Only takes a few minutes. It's much easier than having a tube passed down your throat. It's much cheaper than having a tube passed down your throat. You don't have to come to hospital for it. And it's very effective in terms of I identifying abnormal precancerous cells. Funded by donations to Cancer Research UK, the Cytosponge is now halfway through its national trial and it's already producing results. Well, we have found some cases of early cancer and these patients have gone on and had treatment. And we've also found um, Barrett's esophagus um, in quite a number of patients as well and they have had their endoscopies and they're now on um, a screening regime as well. Depending on results, they hope the sponge will be widely used within a couple of years the quicker, cheaper way to spot people at risk of esophageal cancer. Richard Westcott, BBC News, Cambridge.